hi guys so this styling here you're welcome back to the channel today we're going to be making a pencil skirt using the bot allocation method okay so to start off i'm drawing this line which will be serving as our waist i'll be using my lining piece for this okay so i'm marking my waist to my hip line nine inches waist to knee line 20 inches and the full length of the skirt okay I folded this um, lining into two okay so I won't be adding any hemming allowance I'll be doing that on the main fabric so I'm also going to be extending the lines all the way to the center front just like so okay, next we're going to be taking our waist circumference waist circumference divided by four okay mine is divided by four is 8.5 i'm adding one inch for that okay so for the darts we're going to be taking our boss pan nipple to nipple which what i'm working with is eight divided into two is four so i've already marked it here so the length of the dart is six inches okay and then i'm going to connect it with a straight line And on the both side of that line, I'll be taking, I'll be marking out half inch on both sides of the line. Okay, then I'll connect it back to this main point. So this is going to be our dart. Okay, so here I'm just be checking my um, taking my waist measurement and then I'm replacing that 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 is what that one inch is for and then I'm going to be adding 1.5 for same allowance okay okay so for the hip we're using the hip allocation method okay so for the front is half of your hip circumference okay minus one inch divided by two okay half of your hip circumference minus one inch divided by two so for mine what i got is 10.5 so i'm marking it here and then i'm going to be adding 1.5 for here um same allowance so whatever measurement i have i'm just going to subtract one inch from it and i will mark it on the knee line and also mark it on the down part then i'm just going to connect it just like so So moving over to the back piece okay so i'll fold my fabric into two and i'm placing the front okay and i'll give like about three inches on that part so i'm just going to extend the lines the hip line knee line and the full length and also i'll be extending the waistline okay so i'm marking one inch remember we took out one inch from the front waist center front waist okay so i'm just marking it down just like you see me doing here Okay, so we're going to be using this front as a guide okay so for the hip okay because we're using the hip allocation method so our measurement is starting from here so i'm going to be marking my hip for the back hip is half of your hip circumference the um plus one inch remember we took out one inch from the front so we're going to be replacing it on the back piece so it's going to be half of your hip circumference plus one inch divided by two okay so i'm just going to mark it what i have is 11.5 okay so i'm going to connect it to the waistline just like so and from that hip line I'm going to come down by eight inches okay and i'll mark it and then connect this point to it just like you see me doing here and i'm marking my dart point as well so now next thing is to add our zipper allowance so i'm adding one inch for zip allowance okay all the way to the hem next i'm going to connect the lines and then cut this piece out
okay so next i've gone ahead to cut the fabric okay and i gave about two inches similar ones for the hem the down part okay and also did the same for the front okay so next i'm going to go and sew up the dart for the lining piece and the main fabric as well so here i've gone ahead to stitch the dart up for the uh, main fabric and the lining as well so what i'm going to do next is to hold this down part i'm going to go and stitch it with half an inch so here i've gone ahead to stitch it down and what i'm going to do is to pull this place up to make sure the waistline are meeting each other and i'll stitch it with half an inch on both sides okay so when i'm done this is what it looks like next i'm going to turn it inside out making sure that push out all those pointy edges okay and then i'm going to go and iron it all flat so here i've ironed everything all nice and flat okay and this is what it looks like on the inside Okay, I'm going to fold the fabric into two like so and I'll also bring the back part the back pieces or as well and I'll place them on each other to trim out any excesses around the waistline okay I'm just trimming out the little excesses I have around the waistline Opening up the front piece, I'm going to be placing the back on it, right sides facing each other, on the side, okay, on the side, please make sure so you won't make mistake, okay, because the, um, the zipper allowance is looking somehow like the hip, okay, just like what I did here, I made a mistake, so make sure that the zipper allowance is, so, is in the middle. So placing them right sides facing each other, I'm going to go and sew it down with one inch same allowance, okay? So here I'm holding it with a pin first on both sides and then I'll go and stitch it with half, um, one inch same allowance. This is what it looks like when I'm done stitching it down. And when you open it up, this is how it looks. I've gone ahead to iron it. So I'm going to fold this into two. Okay. Then I'm going to take my measurements at the back. Okay. I'll be closing it at the back. So here I'm taking my, I've taken my waist measurement divided by two. And I've pinned it down. Then next is my hip. Okay. So remember to spread it out just the way I did here. And I'm going to mark it. Hip circumference divided by two. And then the knee line also divided by two and then i'm going to go and stitch this part down okay so from here to here i did it with loose stitches because i'll be attaching my zipper and then this is what it looks like so here i'm going to open up the zipper zipper allowance okay and then i'm going to i'm going to be attaching the band to it okay so here i have this fabric I already folded it into two and it measures two inches okay so now I'm going to go and stitch it down all around the waistline okay so when I'm done this is what it looks like and I've also gone ahead to attach my zipper so you can see this puffy part is where the bolt is going to be sitting in place okay so this is the final look of the skirt I also have a detailed tutorial on how I made this beautiful cow top. I'll be linking it in the description box. Do well to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. See you guys in my next. Bye.